Hello! Raphael's so annoying. We're actually currently canceling him in this household. Um, today we're doing with the Washingtons, but we are doing gardening with the Washingtons. Well, with the Washington wife. Raphael doesn't garden. Raphael's sipping on a drink. Can my beanie is like so hot. Take it off. No, because my hair is like not okay yet. Oh. Can this thing hear me? Testing. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Why are you sitting with it like that? Why is it well, so You left up? it like that. There oh, like this? You yeah. want me to do like this? How does that look? Yeah, it was pointing like straight up to the ceiling. Hattie, leave her collar alone. Leave it. Sit down. How do Lila put herself in the kennel and is now acting miserable in the kennel? Okay, so anyways, I took a couple gummies and I opened up a question box for you guys on Instagram to ask me questions, but Raphael is going to read them to us. And I've yet to see them, so. I have yet to see them either because I didn't want to see them before. Um, Raphael's got his little drink. I got a little garden gummy going and. I have on ankle socks right now. <laughs> yeah, I you do. I just feel like a cornball. Leave like her collar alone. <laughs> oh, little Hattie. She's just a baby. <laughs> she, oh, Hattie, shit. we have to film, baby. Hattie. Here, let me take her collar off so it doesn't make All right, sense. hit me. Oh, wow. I'm going to go past that one. <laughs> <laughs> Can you at least read them, but then I don't have to answer it? All right, yeah, no, good call. I want to know All what right. they at least say. <laughs> if you could tell your stepmom one thing, what would it be? Oh, that's not bad. I would just say that I love her. Okay, next one. All right, I'm going to fly through these a little more. Fly, okay. why? All right. Where you got to go? It's just some date? of them are just... <laughs> no question, but as a fellow Minnesotan... I will miss you here, but Texas will be amazing. I agree, and we'll miss you. Hannah J21. Can we say names? No, come on, man. Let's make this funny. This is supposed to be funny. All right. We got hit with oh, two oh, I got a good one. Sentimental okay. ones. What's your favorite joke? <laughs> Raphael Washington. <laughs> I know it. No, tell a joke. Let's see how funny you are, man. Um, come on, man. <laughs> I don't even know. Your mom is so fat. She dressed in yellow and walked past my window, and I thought I missed the school bus. <laughs> Your mom is so <laughs> fat. <laughs> you told her there was chili outside. And she, it was chili outside. And she she ran went out and got a bowl. With okay. a bowl and okay. a spoon. Bowl and a spoon. Yeah, that was a good one. I have one. other jokes, okay, but I'm like clamming up right now. No, that was a good one. Okay. Zombies take over the world and Rafi's crack. What the <laughs> is the only way to save us? You game or no? <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> <sighs> you wouldn't bite the bullet? You wouldn't bite the ass and just. What would I have to do? I would have to eat your ass? I don't know. That's disgusting. Exactly. What are we talking about here, man? I'd rather kill myself. Let the zombies take me out. What animals would you and Raphael be? <laughs> wait that's a really good one what kind of animals would we be <laughs> okay i feel like Raphael <sighs> would be <laughs> Catherine would be a squirrel no i would not you'd be looking and like all like, okay there's the, so the window many and... more animals with squirrel. adhd <laughs> but a squirrel <laughs> no <laughs> squirrels are nasty and they steal and all they do is eat and be they're cute no. What would you be? Um, Raphael would be like a freaking. <laughs> what are those bears that are like cute but they're kind of slow? <laughs> like a sloth? Raphael's so smart, but he's so slow. He is one of the slowest paced like motherfuckers I've ever seen in my life. No, but like there's like a bigger version of them where they're like still scary bears, but they're like. <laughs> All right, I got a, I got a new one. Regular M and M's or minis? Answer. He didn't like that answer. Minis all the way, man. But Reese's pieces were so much better. Oh wow, this is a, this is a random but interesting one. Are you scared of middle middle schoolers? 
That age group is so mean sometimes. <laughs> she probably's gonna say yes. <laughs> you know what's so funny is I identify the most with middle schoolers. <laughs> like if I feel like I could get along with one group of kids, I feel like it'd be middle schoolers. <laughs> like that stupid humor, but like they're still old enough to understand stuff. Right. <laughs> So I don't think middle schoolers are scary, but if they didn't like me, I would be terrified of them because they're ruthless. But I feel mm-hmm. like they would like me, so no, I'm not scared of them. Facts. Wow. Okay. This is a um, is the D fire. Wow. Why are you only trying to? You're not even trying to have a conversation with somebody. No, because so I'm just we like blown rap, away by. We're not rapid fire answering. <laughs> Enjoy fucking an hour with me, okay? We can converse. What kind of um, schooling do you relate with? schooling <laughs> do you identify with elementary middle high school or college students meaning like where do you Which feel ones? like you would fit in the most oh gotcha like, who do you identify as if you were to uh, have to go to school middle age? and high school i feel like you'd be good with high school kids yeah yeah it's just trying to rush me off the mic man. that's a good one yeah mm-hmm. did you hear the next one i said no nope. it's pretty reckless i was so busy yelling at you is the d fire <laughs> that's wild and i'm not gonna say your name for this but that's the fact wild that it took me that long to get it that's wild. for a second i was like well let me tell you let me tell you let me tell you something let me tell you something <laughs> let me tell you something <laughs> Hello, Human 2 listeners. We have a natural cycles called free vibes. I have shared with you a million times, but here's a million and one. You guys know I love natural cycles with a burning passion. I check the app every single morning when I wake up. I also do it every single evening before I go to bed. I update it with any mood feelings I might have, any um, period symptoms I might have, if I have any mucus downstairs, if I had any type of intercourse that day all that fun stuff I update all of that at night um, I input my temperature in the morning so we can track my ovulation I literally love natural cycles with a burning passion I will never shut up about it it's female founded it's female everything I believe that no matter whether you're trying to conceive or not to conceive and you're using it as a non-invasive and non-hormonal form of birth control I I really feel like you need it no matter what because you're just learning so much about your body. I tell all my friends all the time now about like your luteal phase, your follicle phase, your period, your ovulation. Like there's so much in the app that's knowledgeable for any female. Again, whether you're conceiving or not conceiving, it doesn't matter. So they do have a code. It is code Catherine, C-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E. And you're going to go to naturalcycles.com. Code Catherine will get you 15% off your annual subscription and then also a free thermometer. I do want to preface this by saying that this is for 18 plus and it does not protect against STIs. I hope you love natural cycles just as much as I do and happy tracking. Cut. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) All right. Hold on. Wait. Someone asked, what the heck is a gummy? Okay, so weed is like weed, right? Obviously, but like what's derived from it? Like weed is like a bud that you can smoke, but there's THC. That's like the what gets you high, right? Yeah. THC is what gets you high, but it's like an oil and they take the oil off and they put it in like you can get like a brownie or cookies. Like it's basically like an oil that you can cook with or like people are turning it into like candies, but it's like the government sells it. So I feel safe because I'm like, they're not going to poison all. Maybe they will. But I mean, there's things that they would poison us in Correct. with everything else. So <laughs> whatever. So basically it's weed, but you don't have to smoke it. I am not a smoker. I've never actually really liked weed. It's always freaked me out because I just felt like it was so illegal. Like as kids, you know, like it was so illegal back in the day. Like you would get locked up for weed. So I was always terrified of it. And now when my dad died, one of my people in my circle was like, here, try it. Because I couldn't sleep. They were like, here, try this. And then that's how I got on a fan of it. And honestly, it's just like, I feel like it's healthy. Not healthy. Like, obviously, nothing that we do in life is healthy. All we need to do is drink water and fucking hide. That's health. But <laughs> where was I going with this? It's whatever. Okay, next question. Is the D fire? No, that was not that. No, that's, no that was that's, the gummy. Yeah, baby. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> what does it say? Who is the best sex you've ever had? <gasps> I'm wow. a virgin, you guys. Right. What are you talking about? That is so disrespectful. What is your favorite snack while gardening? Wait, we have to talk about this because I feel like this is something that... Okay, so I was with a girlfriend the other day and we were talking about exes. Like a topic of exes got brought up. And she thought it was absolutely wild that we don't know each other's like people or numbers or anything. Because I feel like a lot of couples talk about that. Have you ever been asked that before by like somebody? Like how many people Mm-mm. you've been with? No ex-girlfriend's ever asked you that? Mm-mm. That's crazy. I feel like I've always gotten asked that. Mm-mm. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Like friends are like, how many people have you been with? Like a lot of people, like it's a very common topic in the girl we're world. Here, none of my, okay, so boys or like men, we don't even ask each other. I feel like other, because for weird. you guys, like the higher the better. I don't know. It's like, well, obviously like stere- um, um, stereotypically. I would I'm say, yeah, let's men, but like, clear that up because like the fellas might the come after you for that one. That was like a thing. Well, I don't care. It was a thing back in the day. I'm like, who could get more? But, <laughs> I, okay, so my girlfriend was like, wait, you don't know? And I was like, no, I literally have never asked and I've never wanted to know. I feel like it would literally, it would not be good for my mental health. <laughs> but I was wondering, I wanted to bring that up on a podcast episode anyways one day. Because I was like, I thought that was actually a good question. Like, are you the friend? Are you the person in the relationship that wants to know? Or do you guys not know? Like, that's a genuine question. Yeah, that would be a good question for everyone. Yeah. Like, who wants to know and who doesn't? I'm like, blind. He's okay. a virgin. What are you talking about? Favorite music or activities after you're freshly gardened? I like to just sit in bed and watch TV. And relax. Yeah. And snack. And then I got to go to bed. because Wait, I, I did see day. one that said, what are your favorite uh, snacks after gardening? Oh, my God. What so that takes question, us right into that one. Gonna, this, we can't keep talking over each other, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what a great question. I love everything. Um, what do I crave the most? Dynamite chips, yep. salt and vinegar chips, yep. ice cream, cookies. Yep. And pizza. I normally really like a pizza. I'm not a pizza craver. You're really not. But gardening, I love me some pizza. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I forgot I have water. What? Would you rather pee yourself in public once a day for a year? Or have to wear a fedora for a year. What's a... uh, What am I winning at the end of this? What's a fedora? It's like that hat. Hat? Yeah, isn't it that hat? That ugly hat? (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) I would say... I'd rather pee myself once a day in public because I would just go out on my front <laughs> patio and just tinkle. Ooh. That's in public, right? That was pretty good. Way to beat Wait, the question. Wait, do I get to decide? Adelie, do you get to decide where's your public p- uh, pacification? <laughs> All right. I meant urination, but I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's not your public pacification. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, baby. You got to get off. We're filming a podcast. You have to get off, okay? Yeah, daddy's right here. We're filming Good a girl. podcast. I think she knows All what right. that means. What is your death row meal? El Taquito. Yeah, tacos? El Taquito. Yeah, yeah, My for sure. My El Taquito order to a T. And then if I could get what I really wanted in life, which would be go to the Cheesecake Factory afterwards, that would be elite. But if I could only choose one, it would have to be El Taquito. Yeah. Oh, man. You're such a baby. These are. are Is it true you secretly enjoy the upper lower back? Nobody asked that, Rafael. You. That is so funny because it's literally right here with an emoji. (laughs) And for the people who don't know, the upper lower back is essentially. Rafael's butt crack is always out. See, I, we have really deep discussions about this because you really your butt crack, crack is your butt crack. Your upper lower back is okay, not your butt crack. Baby, that is your you lower this. back that is upper to your this crack. This is the only type that I will give you a in. Your butt crack does go higher than most people's. 
<laughs> it is like really high up his back. Can we address that? That's weird that you are like drawn to that. Like your I'm eyes not automatically drawn to it. No, seriously. I do think we need to invest in a clothing brand that covers stuff like that for big old males with high cracks. Your eyes automatically go to my crack. When, it I doesn't do, matter what's point, going I'm, on. Every time he says it's not out, I literally look for it now just to tell him it's out. And now he's like, stop, you're always looking. Ah. You need help. I got a therapist. And you need better pants. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, ooh, worst advice someone has ever given you? Um, that, what's like that phrase, if you let it, if you love it, set it free? Or like the, um, and it'll come back to you. Or like, the, what's the phrase where it's like, don't work for it. It'll like, you know where people say yeah. that? Like, don't stress it. It'll come to you if it's meant yeah, to be. Meant I don't be. believe in that. I believe in like, yes, if it's meant to be, like it will be. But I feel like you still have to put in like the work. Yeah. Because if it is just to like be handed to you, I don't know. One, it's probably not going to get handed to you because God or the universe doesn't believe that you really want it. Or um, when you get it, you're just like not appreciative because it just like came to you. I don't know. Yeah. So I believe in working for it. Now, this one is like elite and you may have to stop playing with Hadley now. What is your go to dance move and show us? Oh, what is my So for the people that are listening, you may have to go ahead and click over to YouTube. Go ahead, baby. The floor is yours. I know it used to be the peacock. Yeah. The peacock was when I was drunk in a bar. You're so proud of that. Look at you. When I was drunk in a bar in my drunk bar life, I do this dance right here. The peacock would spread their wings. Now this is mine. Okay, so for the people who can't hear, now she's doing some type of like a rodeo. Uh, very stiff. Uh, but It was supposed to be a fist bump. You're very stiff. You're stiff. It was supposed to be a fist bump type roundabout type. Gotcha. Hip thrust. (laughs) Nothing's really going well for me here. (laughs) Okay, this is weird. Worst sex experience. I'm a virgin. Perfect. (laughs) What do you think they'll be playing on the oldies radio in 30 years? (sighs) Definitely Justin Bieber, a lot of Taylor Swift, still Pitbull. Still Pitbull. Still Pitbull. Maybe some Drizzy? I don't will think they play so. Drake? Mm-mm. I think they will. Mm-mm. I think they will. I don't think they will. I don't feel like they're gonna ke- like what rappers from back in the day are like still around that the, uh, that are played constantly. Yeah, because like we still hear Pit Pitbull's been around the block. We yeah. still hear Justin Timberlake. We still hear like I guess we still hear like Flo Rida. That's still yeah. like pretty, but like Drake's pretty. I feel like he's for this gen. Yeah, true. He's not very like, I don't know. He's very much our generation. Yeah, good call. But I still think he'll be on the radio. That's my guy. That's my cousin. Oh, okay. Did you talk about your uncle? Don't be a hater. Okay, I got a good one. Here we go. Why do eggs not taste like chicken? Why does chicken not taste like eggs? That's so weird. <laughs> Wait, why do eggs not taste like chicken? Do you think our why does chicken would taste not like taste us like if we tasted ourselves? I don't know. That mm-hmm. sounds weird though. Who would win in a fight? A grilled cheese or a burrito? Damn, this is a good one. <laughs> a burrito. They're heavy. They're yeah, dense yeah, for motherfuckers. Sure. But the grilled cheese, if you cut it, it like down the, the middle. Fuck out of you. Right. And it could slice it's cheesy. Yeah, it could wrap its cheese around your neck and suffocate you. Fuck, that was dark. Yeah. Damn. I don't want a burrito now. Yum. No taquito. Taco Bell. Baby names that you like, but Raphael doesn't. Ooh, I love boy names for girls. So like Spencer, Blake. I really liked the name Drew for a long time. Raphael does like these, though, by the way. So it says oh, ones do? Raphael doesn't girl. like. For a girl. Yeah. I didn't know you liked those. Wait, say them again? For a girl. Like, I like boy names for a girl. Like, Spencer, Blake, Oh, Drew. that's right. Spencer mm, sounds like kind of like Icebox. Like a like a football. 
Like she'd play football or something. Oh. Or she'd play like a wrestling, like a okay. a badass, kick ass. I can't really see it, but I'm saying I see it. Okay. Um, I like that. I think you're agreeing with me. All right. If you were a duck, what would you sound like? Quack, quack. They said, that, I asked this question at the bar the other day. Okay, go ahead. Let me hear it. Quack, quack. That actually was pretty good. Quack, quack. Let me try. Quack, quack. <clears throat> quack, 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 quack. Yeah. I think you win. Nah, I don't even want to try. That was you pretty good. You want to try? Do it. Quack. Yeah, but you're saying, you're trying to say quack. No, that's what ducks quack, quack. do. Yeah, but they don't say quack. quack. No, that's no, a no. They don't. Say, that's no, a duck quack sound. Quack is how American people spelled quack, but the sound isn't quack. It's quack, quack, quack. Like you're trying to mimic the sound. You're not trying to read the word in that sound. You know what I'm saying? Like oink. you literally just say quack. But I said quack, 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 quack. quack, quack. But like. If I were to hear that, I would be like, oh, that's for sure a person, not a fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> Mine, at least, you'd be like, wait, is that a bird? Oh, okay, okay. But like, for example, oink. Pigs don't say oink, oink. They go oink, 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 oink. oink. No, they don't. Okay, whatever. I'm done we with this. We just put letters to a sound. Do you see what I'm saying? You're f- this gummy like, has got you on Einstein level right I'm now. being si- do you guys understand what I'm saying? This is some SAT shit. No, I mean, dead serious, Raphael. Like, quack was not a word. We heard a duck quack, and we were like, "How? what does that sound like? The sound was like, quack, quack. So we put letters to it, and it spells out quack. But the word quack didn't exist before the sound quack did. Am I getting punked? <laughs> Move on. I was being yeah, dead you're serious. Yeah, you're wild. <laughs> Okay. Don't get me started on the TV Can y'all one. create a list of favorite restaurants in the Twin Cities? Yes. We're actually Definitely. doing a TikTok series. Oh, I love that you asked that. We're actually going to do a TikTok series called the Minnesota Goodbye. And everywhere we go over the next few weeks, I'm literally no longer grocery shopping until we leave because we're going to go out most of our nights and do like all of our favorite places, our favorite orders, all that. We're calling it the Minnesota Goodbye. Not just our favorite places, but like our favorite things I to do. I think we should show the food tricks. too, like... So they can see a, like a visual. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How juicy. Or like even like the tips and tricks that we have of like everywhere we go. I don't know. I'm excited. All right. That'll be fun. Hungry. For real. That'll be so fun. All right. Would you rather have hot Cheetos for fingers or pickles for eyebrows? God damn, that's good. Would you rather have hot I Cheetos for it. fingers or pickles well, for eyebrows? Well, one, I would want to eat my fingers. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Two, I feel like they would break. I can't touch my eyes. Damn. If I had pickles for eyebrows, they would be drippy and in my eyes all day and my eyes would burn. How big is the pickle? And does it get dried out after a while? Is it a dill? Is it a... Kosher? <laughs> What's the pickle that's cut in like one fourth? Kind of like a, it's cut in fourths. It's like a yeah, perfect my mom little. Yeah, loves those. I, don't mm, know. Yeah. I guess I'd rather. A oh spear? no. Spear, spear pickle, a pickle spear. <laughs> <laughs> no pickles sound really good. Oh my god, you guys, have you ever made your own pickles? So good. That sounds disgusting. It's you've had them. Oh, I have. Yes, the chopped up pickles that I used to do. Oh yeah, those are good. Where we will go to the farmer's market yeah, he just talks he just talks if you could be any condiment which would you be and why if you I could be a condiment condom which brands. one would you be <laughs> we don't use some <laughs> maybe i pronounced that wrong let's try this again everybody <laughs> wow if you could be a condiment Oh. Which would you be and why? (laughs) Not the condoms. Yeah. um, Oh my gosh. Get your mind out the gutter. It's not in the gutter. Okay. Um, if I could be any condiment, 
Well, I love that mayo's universal and everybody loves mayo. But I love Chick fil A sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so I would love to be Chick-fil-A sauce, but obviously not the ones that you buy at Chick-fil-A, like or that you get with your Chick-fil-A meal. I mean like the condiment aisle at like the store. They have Chick-fil-A sauce there. <laughs> Chick-fil-A sauce is so good. Oh my god, no, I want Chick-fil-A. What do you need, Hadley? You're bored, man. You're bored. By the way, if anyone has a German short hair pointer, you they know. They whine for fun. They whine for fun, and they love to have all the attention. Yes, if you're not literally focused on them 24-7, all they do is whine. Girl. Girl. I didn't know you were a gardener, too. Love this. Why do you think the person sounds like that? What if she's like, Girl, oh. I didn't know you were a gardener, too. <laughs> I love this. What country did you just go to without me? I don't me? know. Did you get your passport know. stamped? <laughs> I don't know. People didn't know you were a gardener, I guess. I don't think. The gummy, by the way. I feel like a lot of people don't see it on TikTok because I don't post it on TikTok. Can you I, t- actually tell them why? It's because. You're a gardener with the gummy? Well, how one, you start it helps it? me sleep. That was how it started. But now what I like about it is that when I do garden, I just get off my phone. Like, I feel like I stop working finally. It's like the only time at night where I'm like. Ooh, I actually get to be like just on my phone for funsies if I want to be on my phone or I'll like watch TV. I hang on my house. Like it's our time. That's like, I feel like I don't have to work because when you're just like, I'm not going to record myself and post on TikTok right now. Like I'll be so, I would be so self-conscious. Um, so it kind of like forces me to not work and I like it because if I was sober going to bed, I would feel like I had to work. Like I would be like thinking of a trend or a trending sound that we could use that night to film in bed. Yeah. Going through a breakup after eight years he is so cold about it how do i even begin to cope well you can't be upset with how he's reacting because it's not like you don't feel what he feels and you can't tell him how to feel um so just because he's cold like that might just be his processing or like him being actually really sad eight years is a long time um for a man too like a man to walk away from after eight years i feel like that would be really hard like yeah um Versus like maybe like a year, I feel like, yeah, definitely a girl would take it harder than the guy would. But eight is a long time for both parties. So eight years, he's cold about it. Like you said, she's hurt. He's hurt. Um, I don't know. Maybe he's just not trying to show emotion or like how he feels about it. Um, But I don't I guess I don't know him or the situation or like all the intricacies. But he's for sure probably hurt. Um and i mean to cope with it i don't know that's just to to each his own it's totally different and um it won't be a long road per se quote unquote but um eight years is a long time and uh it's a lot of adjusting afterwards you know every day you spend with the person i'm sure so um i don't know that's that's tough that's tough how do you begin to cope i don't know like i don't know exactly how to tell them how to begin to cope. What would your advice be? I think you were the better person for this answer. I'm too giggly right now. Oopsies. Okay. Did you stop drinking? Never see ya with an espresso martini anymore. The way you're reading these are so silly. Did you stop drinking? Question mark, question mark. Never see ya with an espresso martini anymore exclamation yeah point. i stopped drinking you guys i'm not pregnant but i really did stop drinking um we did dry december and i only had like a glass of wine in december so i guess not completely dry but then i don't know i just like started getting sick after drinking then so like that month taking off really fucked me up because then in january i had one glass of wine in atlanta and i felt so sick to my stomach and then um I didn't drink from January all the way until the brand trip that I was just at. No, I lied. I drank in New York. Again, didn't really feel great. Um, and then and then in, where was I just at? Antigua. Anguilla. Um, <laughs> Antigua? I was going to say Antigua, and then I started saying Anguilla. Anguilla, I had a little bit of the rum that was like locally made there, but I have not been drunk. Was it good? No. It was very strong. It was good. For so it was good, but it was too strong. I was just about to say, um, I take that back. It was very good. You would have loved it. 
Um, but it was very strong. Gotcha. And I'm not like really ever had rum, so I didn't know how deep I wanted to get with it. Yeah. So I just had like a I would literally taste it. But um people were like taking shots of it. Was that the night you called me like, Hey, she knows and I think we all know the same people? Uh uh-uh. uh. Okay. You seem drunk. Sorry. No, I was very tired that night. That was our last night. No, I was gotcha. never drunk. I never gotcha. got drunk. Okay. Okay. I got one for you. This one's good. Best meal you've ever had. Oh, I can't I can't do just one. Um really? I will say you can't Paz- do one. Pazza Luna's Alfredo was Ugh. to this day list. I wish I had some. Definitely top of my list. So this is really funny. So Rafael's favorite meal is Alfredo, chicken Alfredo, and I love chicken Alfredo, but I also cook chicken Alfredo very well. So I'm extremely particular when I go to restaurants. I'm like, this Alfredo better be worth it. Um, and Paz Luna in downtown St. Paul used to be the absolute best that I've ever had in my entire life. I would literally, I would have invested in that business to keep it open, but they closed during COVID and they didn't come back. And I'm so sad. I wish I would have known because I would have given them all my pennies to stay open. Right. But Raphael lived right around the corner from there and he had never had it. That was where I was going with the story. So when Raphael and I got together, I had not known Pazaluna closed at this point. No, it hadn't closed yet, but it was like we weren't at that level of going out. And then when COVID hit like hard, it closed, closed. And I was so sad. Yeah. So Raphael never got to try it. Wait. Okay, this question is confusing. MFK Tacos Burgers Pizza. Mary Fuck Kill. What does that mean? So, like, they give you three options. Oh. And you have to marry one, fuck one, or kill one. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, MFK, okay. what are the options? Tacos Burgers Pizza. Mary. I would marry tacos, I would kill burgers, and I would fuck pizza. Okay. What about you, baby? Uh, same. You cut burgers? I feel like you like burgers more than you like mm. tacos. No, really? not, not not necessarily. I mean, I don't know. That, that is a tough one, I guess. Depending whose burger it is, depending whose tacos it is. But like if know. there's tacos or burger on a menu, you order burgers. You don't order tacos. But I will. S- well, if it's in like a if it's like one of our places, we go for. You're right. We only Mexican go to food. a taco yeah, place. So exactly. why would we order tacos elsewhere? Yeah. Right. Kind of weird. Deciding on what dessert I want tonight, you guys. We haven't left the house at all today, baby. We went outside to shovel our driveway this morning and that snow was thick and wet. Thick and wet. Yeah. It was. But we got it done. Sounds Thank you for helping me. Yeah, it was fun. I appreciate that. Abby's choking herself. I hear like... <sighs> Okay. Mm. Babe, how do you spell candy with only two letters? I don't know. How? How do you spell candy with only two letters? C and Y. Candy. C and Y. Candy. Candy. C. Yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, good. <laughs> I don't get it. What is that mean? Because C and a Y are at the front and the back. C and A and D Y. Candy oh, C-A-N-D-Y. gotcha. How, where did that come from? I was telling you a joke. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great joke, baby. That was good. Okay. Well, what type of gummy do you use? Um, Giggly is the one that I took today. I took their Giggly Peach Ring. Giggly's got a really good gummy. There's a lot of gummy brands out there, but I only buy them through the government. I do not buy, like... Off the streets. Off the streets, man. Okay. Have you seen me in the street? Your mom's a hoe. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. It's a sound I've heard. <laughs> what? Hattie, stop, baby. What dessert should we get for dinner tonight? Vicky, Vicky. Um, what dessert would you like? I don't know. A lot sounds good right now. You have ice cream in there. Um, I think I'm over the ice cream phase right now. Why is that? Because Taco Bell sounds better. <laughs> and no. the toilet must sound good as well. What do I want for 
home for dinner, man. We just had dinner. Oh, a second dinner. A gardening dinner. No, I didn't know gardening dinner was a thing. I'm going to gain a lot of weight. <laughs> so I made the gym then. Hit the gym, hit the garden, hit the gym, hit the garden. Hit the gym, hit the garden, hit the gym, hit the garden, hit the gym, yeah. hit the garden, hit the gym, hit the garden. If you could be on a, if you had to be on the TV or on the radio, which would you prefer? If I had to be on the TV or the radio, which one would I prefer? I would say the television. Why? I feel like I could be an actor. <laughs> like a Denzel. When I tell you to go straight through the light, you make a fucking right. You can't remember shit, much less lines. I could be like a modern day Denzel. Why? Because you got the last name Washington? Are you talking to me? Huh? That's not what he sounds like. That's what he sounds like. Huh? You talking to me? No, he's not. He's not. Do you have a problem with me? No, or yes. Yes or no? Please stop. No. A little bit. Just a little bit, though. I can. No. Would you rather be on the radio or the television? I'd rather be on the radio. It's more fast paced and it's funnier. But I also have only been on one radio station. So maybe the TV I'm just could biased. be improv and those are funny. Like comedy, like wild yeah, but and out. I'm not fast enough for that. Like when people are watching me. Mm, okay, gotcha. Would you rather have 10 dogs at one time for the rest of your life, always? Like until you die, you have 10 dogs. Or you're not allowed to have any dogs ever again. <laughs> Ten is a lot. Ten's too many. Okay, three. Ten's too many. Three, three for sure. Yeah. So three. If you well, we're on our way to get our third dog now. You, so, but like for the rest of your life, you had to have three oh, dogs. Oh, have three. Yeah, that's a lot. Or for the rest of your life, you could never have another. That's a lot. And respectfully, you help, but like. <laughs> not starting a mar marriage argument right now. Yeah. No, my lower back is already sore. How long have we been recording? It's like like two hours. Forty minutes. Okay, are you bored of me? Are you bored of me? No, we're we're out of questions though. Okay, I'm telling you to ask. Come, I'm come actually even telling you to come off a chat. I don't I don't know. What do you want to come up with? Oh, but you want to be on the TV with improv. Yeah, let's act. <laughs> come up with funny stuff. Come up with funny <laughs> questions. You are funny. All right. Um, Would you rather sleep sitting up for the rest of your life in a very comfy bed or having to sleep with your feet in water in a... Sleep with my feet in water or sitting up in a bed. Like, like sitting straight up. Like <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that has to be fat for your intestines. Yeah, I'm going to go feet with the water. Wait. Really? Is the water cold or like, can it be like <laughs> almost like a pedicure warm? You would get so hot. Yeah, but you can run the AC. At least you're laying down. Okay. Yeah. I'm what kind of question you got? Would you rather drive a tractor for the rest of your life? <laughs> this is easy. Keep going. Or the little kid yellow car. <laughs> nope. The tractor for sure. Highway and everything. <laughs> What would you, would you rather drive a smart car or a monster truck? <laughs> a smart car. No, a monster truck. Who am I lying to? I'd rather drive a smart car. They Baby, I don't think you even fit in a smart car. I told you, let's go to the dealership and see if they'll let me test drive one. He does ask for this on a monthly basis. <laughs> You're going to out my secrets? That is true. I do ask to drive a smart car on a monthly basis if no, she says no. he wants one so bad. Let's go test drive one. I'm serious. Like big rims on it, big wheels, tinted windows. There's no way that, that car black. is a real thing. I think that's a glitch in the simulation. I don't think they even sell them. Where do you even go buy one? There's not a smart car dealership. Know. Yeah, good call. <laughs> Ooh, uh, okay. I think, I think if you Google cars? it. I don't know. Isn't their brand smart? Who fucking know. names a smart car a smart car? Like smart water. <laughs> like a Volvo. It's a smart car. <laughs> right. You should let me test drive one for sure. <laughs> I don't let you do anything. Yeah, true. But let's go together. Okay. 
You think we both can fit in it? What's that movie, Mr. Incredible? The Incredibles? Mm -hmm. Doesn't he drive like a small car and he's like super big? (laughs) I'm shocked you've seen that movie. I haven't. What's one? (laughs) (laughs) Wait, you haven't? No. What's one thing that white people did growing up that mesmerized you? Uh, Mark their children's heights in like the garage or like in the house. Wait, you guys didn't do that? Mm-mm. Your parents didn't like say what age you were and what height you were? Mm-mm. That was pretty cool. That's crazy. I never knew that mm-hmm. was a thing. That's pretty cool. I thought like all kids did that. Mm-hmm. I guess that is like a, a thing that we all did. I but. think I think a lot of people did it. We just didn't do it, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm just. All right, I'll do another one. I uh, don't know. What's <laughs> yours? Something that, but vice versa for African Americans. <laughs> All right, Human 2 listeners, we've talked about Element before. Element is the hydration packets that Raphael and I use in our household. A couple of our friends use them. We actually also got a couple of our other friends addicted to them. I just sent a big box of Element to a friend out in California because he is in the workout world. And I was explaining to him how much we love Element um, for just the hydration and We love electrolyte filled drinks. I love the flavors of them. It is phenomenal. You stay hydrated. You're getting all the electrolytes. They do have a link for you guys if you want to get a free sample pack. So in the sample pack, you're going to get the flavors. You're going to get the four core flavors. Um, And if you want to check out Element or you've been looking for a new hydration packet, I always keep one in my bag. Raphael keeps them in his briefcase. We go everywhere with Element. So if you ever see me out and you want one, guarantee they're in my bag. So if you want to try them out, click the link. Element is giving Human 2 listeners a chance to try their sample pack with any purchase. This also comes with a zero questions asked refund policy. We hope you guys love Element as much as we do. Um, a lot of get togethers. Like big, big, big get togethers. Food involved? Yeah. But like. Like we would do like the holiday ones or like our small core family, you know, like the aunts and uncles yeah, and grandparents family reunions. or something. Yeah, you guys do massive parties. Yeah, family reunions, yeah. Like multiple times a year. Yeah. Where it's like it's just someone cooks out and then there's like fifty people there. Yeah. I love it actually. Yeah, pull up. Yeah, but it's like a it's literally like a weekly thing. Yeah. Um We've never asked each other this. I'm sh- I didn't never like I'm happy I thought of this. What else? You got good questions. I don't. <laughs> okay. When we have kids, think... what's going to be your favorite tradition to start with them? Mm. You guys put me on to these bacon cookie things during <laughs> Christmas and stuff. And I think that'd be cool. Just cause something corny. Like cool but corny, you know. Yeah. But corny is cool, you know, yeah. as you get older. Yeah. Um, what else? Taking them to school. Cute. Picking them up. You wanna take them to and from every day? I don't know. I don't wanna sign up for that because I know you and you'll get your I'm ass just out asking. of it. Okay, I'm just saying I I'm doing it early. Early work. I feel like I would like drop off. You're just trying to back out of it. I'm not No, I'm for real. I was trying to talk to you about it. No, no, no. I'm not doing... I feel like I would do drop-off. He would do pick-up. He's probably better with their irritability after school than I would be after school. But then I'm also, like, rushing to get them out there on time. Yeah, I feel like I would do better at that. I feel like maybe if Raphael one day doesn't do his profession, we would do both together. Because I just feel like that's just kind of who we are. Let's just do it together. Okay, I could. <laughs> I realized it was this series of appearances. Because I, I, I know you I like to stick me with stuff. I think my favorite tradition that I all. would have with a kid is I can't wait to like on the big days. Like I love cooking. So I'm excited to like, I don't know, like host them. I know, I know that sounds silly, but like, you know, like parents like wake up and they're like, I got to feed my kids. Like I like 
meals to be an experience like i want our kids to like have enough time in the morning before school to like Cute. come down like we're hosting breakfast almost yeah. like like they're guests in our house basically like right. you know like you put on a show for your guests like you go all out for them like i want my kids to have a nice breakfast every morning and like dinners and stuff like i like i don't know i like doing that but i also am not a mom so i know that like 99.9999% of moms are stressed at those times of the day so me sitting here thinking that it's going to be rainbows and fucking butterflies is probably just delusion but right so i'm not trying to like diminish moms out there that just like throw quick breakfast together and they're like fucking get out of my face like i'm sure i don't know it's probably what it's actually like right because then you probably have to worry about like 10 other things while you're yeah. trying to put like breakfast, dry- breakfast together but i also do feel like a lot of moms are working moms now which i say so they get themselves ready yes yeah, yes yeah, and still have time. to get out of the house so i do give that's a lot of credit yeah. but if i could have a perfect world as a mom i feel like those times around the table everyone really strives not everyone but a lot of people really strive for dinner and i love that but i think like the other meals matter too like being together when you're starting your day like i wish i almost would i would have almost cho- chosen breakfast as a family than dinner as a family because it starts you in a better mood like you just feel your support you feel your love you know you're excited to come home to everyone that evening like yeah because that's supposed to be like your safe space but normally by the time dinner time everyone's had a stressful day homework was crazy showers got to happen like dinner's going mom just got home like it was chaos to the point where it was like yeah we're sitting around the same table but we're actually terrified of each other and we don't want to talk to each other so i i don't know that was a really long story. I'm no, sorry. That was good. That was a good breakdown. But yeah. Your questions are good. I don't, I'm tapping. I don't have any good questions like you do. Keep going though. You got them. You're like on fire right now. Well, no, I'm trying to think. Would you rather go back and talk to your eight year old self or would you rather go forward and talk to your 60 year old self? No. Well, eight, damn, is he going to retain anything? Okay, 15-year-old self. Yes. You will go back to 15 to talk for to sure. him. For sure. Instead of going to 60. Yeah, 15. How about you and then what would you say? I would go to 60. Okay. Because I would want to, like, 15, like, okay if i were to go back to my 15 year old self I, yeah i like to give them encouragement but they got here without that encouragement you know so like i still ma- i still live a successful life in my eyes of the idea of success so i did it without the encouragement of knowing for the yeah. future which obviously this is going to be the same answer but like for 60 like i want to know like did i fuck up where i can like i want to know if my life is the same way it is now in the in the idea of like is it successful in the vision of my 60 year old's eyes of success right like there's a lot of people like what that's still 30 plus years that's more than double my life right now yeah that's a long time it's a long time away like i can make a lot of mistakes in that time frame and lose a lot of things and i want to make sure i don't do that yeah but then also like again i could say the same thing about like my 15 year old self if she was like oh would i go to myself at 27 I would be like, everything was fucking fine. So you didn't need any encouragement. You're Gucci gay. Right. I don't know. But I feel like I would have cha- I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. That's a hard question. That is a very hard question. Yeah, I'm think- I'm- I think I'm going 15. And that I would, I guess I would tell them. Start investing. No, yeah, that too. Right. Um, Find Catherine Elizabeth. Oh, for sure. Um, Sneaky. <laughs> I would tell him. I was only. To, how old was I when you were 15? Uh, you were. So eight. 5, 10, 1, 2, 8. Yep. <laughs> Cute. Maybe don't find Catherine Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> right. Don't get in trouble. Yeah, seriously. I tell him to just continue to treat people the same and everything will yeah. work itself out. I will say that's always something about you. You don't care who people are where they're from what they do nothing you literally they're all to get yeah. the same treatment from you yeah minus me he treats me like shit <laughs> get what you get babe when you give it back thank you wait when you give it you give it and you, you get, get it you, you get, get it. yeah you, you know what i mean what are we getting for dessert please i need something go to um go to the apps and order something 
That's expensive. All right, let's go make something. I don't think I have the energy to make anything. <laughs> I think I might go up to the store because dynamite chips. After the snowstorm, they you would shoveled today. I know, but you would. You don't care. You'll risk your life for a bag of hot Cheetos. <laughs> it's not the hot Cheetos. It's the Doritos dynamite. And it's that's. the Takis. No, it's the oh Dorito, Dorito dynamite. dynamite. And I always mess that up too. You're right, because then I'll buy you Takis, and it's the one without the lime, and it's the one with the green no, bag and not the, the purple bag. The green bag by Doritos, not the Takis. They all tear your stomach up. They're all good in the neighborhood. Well, we'll see you next time. I'm with the Washingtons, hopefully sober. Peace, love, and, and chicken, chicken grease. grease. <laughs> Goodbye. Later. <laughs>